Are these trees dying? Fall is the time of the year when trees undergo a transformation. A lot of evergreens start to shed needles from the prior year's growth at this time of the year. It's nothing unusual. It forms a, a layer of needles underneath the tree which help protect the tree and help cut out competition. It's a normal process. Pines and arborvitas do this dramatically in some cases, especially after a transplant. And it's nothing to really worry about because it's a natural process that under the trees normally undergo. You can get significant amounts of yellowing in the interiors of the tree. These needles will fall off and become a mulch for the tree for next year. So don't worry, it's a quite a normal process. It's just like some trees lose all their leaves, some trees lose part of their leaves. Normally an evergreen can lose up to a third of its leaves per year. So it's not something to worry about. Now I'm going to show you arborvitas next so that you can see how significant the needle loss can be. And it's called fall needle loss. This is a Techni arborvita showing dramatic amounts of fall needle loss. And you can see all of them in this group of Techni are doing it. However, right next to it are green giant. And the green giant do show and exhibit some needle loss and yellowing. It's fall needle loss. It's nothing to be worried about. It's typical and normal. Some trees will do it a little more extensively than others. And as you can see over here on the larger green giants, there are a significant amount of needle loss, but it's again, it's nothing to worry about. And again, you can see it up here on the pine trees. And then if we go over here and you look up to full-size trees, these are full-size pine trees, and up in the trees, you can see significant yellowing. That's fall needle loss again. There it is. And here's some Niagara arborvitas and they have fall needle loss. And as you can see on the ground here, these are our boxwoods, it forms a layer of needles. You can see right up, even in this large pine tree, you can see the fall needle loss. So it's nothing to worry about. Now I'm going to talk to you about some other things for nursery stock and care of arborvitas. Thank you. Hi, I'm Marge Hurst at Highland Hill Farm, 5275 West Swamp Road in Fountainville. And I'm standing beside one of our white pine seedlings we started this year. We began this plant early this spring. It was only to this height. It was a, called a 2-1 seedling. You can see the bark is a gray color here. That's how tall it was when we started. This is a three-gallon pot. Its growth this year was this lighter color, you can see. From here to here is how much growth this little plant put out. Or on the ends, you can see how much growth this plant put out. Small plants like this, if it has a good season like this season has been, will put out about this kind of, just about a foot of growth. Plants do best with a nice, moist soil. Beside me are bigger. Pines. These are ones that were out in our fields that have just recently been dug. Again, you can see what a growth this particular one put out. Same with this one. Look at the growth this one had. Some trees will throw a lot of growth at the top. Some will throw, put growth all the way around itself. This is an unusual one. This particular plant has what's called a second flush. The second flush is at the very top. You can see it put more growth out again this year. We've had quite an exceptional growing season. And we deliver and plant these all across the East Coast except for Long Island. Uh, these trees are available at Highland Hill Farm both from a seedling, a 2-1 seedling, all the way up to a 10 to 12 foot tree. 
and we have these trees here in stock you can drive in pick them up and take them home or we do deliver and plant to the east coast if you just want delivery we can do that or delivery and planting we also do conservation plantings for people where we plant thousands of seedlings if you want to start a little Christmas tree farm to have a better deer habitat we can do that or we can UPS these seedlings to you in the springtime we also usually stock a couple thousand of them in our yard for uh, people that want to plant them in the summertime. We also suggest that when you plant, if you're planting these trees, that you use a drip water system like what you see here. We sell a drip water line that can water each tree and it keeps all the trees nice and healthy and it makes it very easy to plant large numbers of trees with low loss rates. Again, give us a call at 215-651-8329. This is Marge and Bill Hurst at Highland Hill Farm.